things that we that we got once we get them all. But I go to Path to the Ruins is what I need. Path to the Ruins endpoint, <clears throat> and then Baking Circle is in the center. Grass in this guide says Centre. It's totally wrong. Oh, this is the one that we stumbled upon that one time and we couldn't do it for some reason. <clears throat> I remember this. Uh, I don't know if this ever made it on stream. Maybe it did. I just don't remember. This is that, uh, that lion looking thing. Beast Leon. All right, let's get this over with. Here we go. Uh. Oh, I need to just. Oh, I see. There's something on his head there. That we need to damage first. Oh yeah, there we go. That makes sense. I don't know. Now we can damage him. Let's see. Uh, how about Illusion Sword? Well, actually, no. Let's keep. Let's keep going with this one. Zegram is engulfed in flames. This guy's worth a lot of points, though. <clears throat> this one's like worth, I think, like forty-five thousand or something. Some nonsense like that. Let's just start spamming abilities. Instead of attacking him like that. Uh, yo-yo shock. Yes. Yeah, this is one of the tougher ones here. Uh, illusion sword. Wait, I don't even need to be next to him. I can just. What's a what's a crash ball? What does that do? So illusion sword, not bad. Uh, it's decent because. I'm able to just, um, I'm able to not have to be in melee range with him Let's do this. Don't do that. I don't know how much damage that is. There we go. That's the better camera angle. <laughs> Figured it out, guys. It took me 62 hours to figure out the best camera angle for this. That way you can see the beast. Wow, that's like terrible damage there. Patui spit gum in his face. <laughs> that's so awesome. Some of the ability animations in this game are amazing. Yeah, they're freaking good. Heavenly Guide Bow. <clears throat> Alright. So that guy is down, and he, I think he's worth a... He's worth mega points, I think. <clears throat> so... The next one, we need the branch. So let's go and buy that real quick. I know exactly where I need to buy that, too. I think it's Leo King. It might be third floor. Or not third midpoint. Just regular third floor. 
So let me teleport to the third. Yeah, there it is. Third floor. <clears throat> and I remember being in this place and it was annoying. Because I checked the entire top section, the entire individual sides on the bottom. This was this one took forever. Sir, I have a platinum license now. I should be able to buy <clears throat> my branch. Ooh, you can buy just however many you want here. This is this is great. Yeah, I'll buy like 21 of those. <clears throat> Spark Dragon Hatchet, that sounds pretty cool. Um, we should probably buy some stuffs here. Get regular healing potions, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> All right, where do we have to go for this next one? Come on, try me. Game, I don't need enemies right now. <clears throat> Let's see. The one we're doing next is this Sin Steeped Drifter. Warp to Jerica Creekside when you travel along the creek towards the dead end. Uh, you will find a turn off to the left that will cross overhead. Uh, aha! Okay. <clears throat> so we have to teleport to the creek. Which I don't know where that is. Is it the swamp? Is it the path to Burkakwa? Creekside. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Then travel along the creek toward a dead end, not towards Filio's house. Uh, so it must be to the right then. Yes. <clears throat> you will find a turn off uh, on the left that crosses. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, it is this way. Gotcha. All right. Let's go get this guy down. It's kind of cool coming through um, like to <clears throat> previous areas because um, we're getting to hear the music for probably the last time. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. Don't go running off just anywhere. Should be able just to jump up here. Shortcut. Yeah. Path of dreaded tree spirit ahead. There we go. Grand cheese, that's the name of your species or race or whatever. <clears throat> to lure out the silent butcher that wanders the never ending forest, hold to the sky a branch that will never wither. <clears throat> well, I'm glad I was able to buy like as much as I could. Myriad. There we go. It's a good camera angle. Alright, let's take this one down. It's one of my favorite enemies. He's pretty cool because he's got a tr Look at the tree growing out of his head. Is this Bob from Fallout? <clears throat> Mist Edge. Edges. I want to take a look at this guy. <laughs> This is Bob from Fallout, basically. <clears throat> Where are you at, Bob? Uh, Bob, where are you at? <clears throat> Can I not go up and down? That's kind of lame. Yeah, that's kind of lame. All I can do is just turn him. I can't actually, like... I can zoom in, but that's about it. Bob from Fallout, everybody. Got a tree growing out of his head. Alright. 
So he's done. The the last Let's one is. Um, I'll have to look. I don't remember which one it is. It's actually um. Get rid of that one. Next one is ancient fairy, but you need some axe. Where do I get that axe from? Hey, do I even how have long that you axe? Stand around here? It's a shop list. Okay, where do I get this from? <clears throat> On Rosa, it looks like. Uh, I get that on Rosa somewhere. I wonder where this is. I may or may not have it, so we'll see. Uh, Damon, what's up, man? Are you gonna try to upgrade the other seven-star swords? Probably not. <gasps> nah. Right now, the main focus is just finishing off the rest of the quarries. Really I really hate how they call it that. Uh, Bastards. But uh, we're finishing up the rest of the bounties. Uh, we got three left, and then we'll do some Insectron, and then. Maybe check out um, the ghost ship. Uh, but I think today is going to be the final session for, for Rogue Galaxy. Hey, don't go off by yourself. The final day of the playthrough is happening right now. That's just too much of a grind to do the, the swords. Um, I mean, I could still play this game maybe off stream if I'm really, really bored, but I'm not going to promise anything. But what is the po the most powerful sword in the game? I'm I'm curious. Cause I know I don't have it. Um, I think we might need to go to Rosa real quick. Uh, who's got this axe? Oh, we can buy it here in Jerica. The Pengu's Axe. <clears throat> uh, if I'm doing battles, I might as well level the rest of them. I mean, I could, but then I then I'll be doing less damage because they're not um they they just do less damage, and I don't I don't really want to have to deal with that. Do 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 do. I honestly don't care about <laughs> getting all this, the seven star swords all the way up. It's fine. Don't fall behind, okay? <clears throat> I'll just keep using the dark cloud sword. Cause that's my favorite. I might have bought this axe already, but I don't think so. Or at least if I did, it's I com I, I feel like I've run enough for a whole did some combining time. with another weapon. We've only got three quarries left anyway. <clears throat> um, let's see. Need the axe, bro. Need this axe right here. Uh, max heal. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy like 25 of those. Do, 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 do. Don't go running off just anywhere. So let's see, we've got this last one, the Ancient Fairy is what this one's called. Uh, and then the two on Mari Glen, and that's it. So almost well, now, a little bit over an hour to do bad. to do the remaining twelve. But I'm glad that I wrote down all the items needed for it. So let's save it. Where is this one located at as well? Where is the ancient fairy located? Um, warp to the entrance of the Leo King Castle. It's in the very first room. All right. Leo King Castle. It's in the very first room. It says. I hope we'll have enough to jump to the number one spot uh, and take an overthrow Desert Claw. 
To lure out the wicked fairy lurking in the ancient castle, holes of the sky, the legendary axe passed down from Zipangu. Zipangu. <clears throat> what a warrior that Zipangu. Overthrow daddy, this is true. Daddy's going down. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I am the star king, you know, pretty much. So I have to be better than him, right? Uh, Pegasus Lord gets to be the strongest seven-star sword in the game. Pegasus Lord, that's a freaking cool name for a sword. What is the Pegasus Sword? That's the final form, but what is, like, what are the three previous swords titled? Because I may or may not have that. Not the Pegasus Sword, but the sword that eventually evolves into the Pegasus Sword. this giant troll looking thing why is he a fairy Here he looks like go. a troll or an Looks ogre like to me to the other two. flash sword is always the best maybe All right, let's get this over with. oh he looks exactly like uh the guy the orphan's friend what was his name starts with a b i think What is his name? God dang it, Jupus. Jupus, why'd you have to die? Oh, the Pegasus Lord is the, is the first one. Oh, gotcha. I don't have that one then. What was his name? This is, gonna, this is gonna bother the crap out of me. I'll find it in a second here. Oh, I keep wanting to say Balto, but it's not Balto. What is it? What is his name? Uh, what was Harry's friend's name? Harry's friend. Um <clears throat> the bell to help his friend the Dan do 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 um cancer king's ruin dang it what was the kid's what was his name <clears throat> Harry's friend the orphan kid what was his what was his friend's name? Annoy the crap out of me. There's literally like no information on this. Uh, Cancer King uh, Chamber, I guess. Dang, what is his name? <clears throat> whatever. Freaking whatever, man. I, I don't know what the thing's name was, but that's what it looked like. <clears throat> don't fall behind, okay? Harry the Orphan's Friend. What was his freaking name, man? <clears throat> not, all, not all fairies look the same, Mike. That is racist. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Jerica all done. We needed to go to Mariglin and do the remaining two there. <clears throat> and then we've got all of the bounties done. So let's exchange the points. 78,000 points. Daddy's going down. Has to be. Ugh. 
Uh, rank four to two. <clears throat> oh my God! Look at this. We only need a thousand more or ten thousand more points. So we're gonna we're gonna overthrow Daddy. Treasure sway. Gust razor. Nice. Okay. All right. I'll look it up when we're traveling through space. I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna freaking find the name. I need to go through a walkthrough or something. Mari Glen. Uh, let's see. Let's go to a walkthrough for the game. Control F it. Let's see. Control F it. Cancer King. Cancer King, Harry's Bell, Area 1, it was in the, um, the altar area. Game's gonna make, you're gonna make me open the wa the walkthrough, aren't you, game? I, I will find it. Alright, hang on, let me, I'm gonna do this, I'm doing it live. I need to find the freaking name for this thing because it's bugging the crap out of me. <clears throat> Mina. It is the Mina one, right? What is it? God dang it, what is it? Harry's Bell. <sighs> the only way I'm going to find it out is if I... The only way that I'm going to find it out is if I go back and watch the video just to see what the guy's name is. God dang it. <clears throat> Alright, so Jarekas is done. Alexander is what we need. Uh, do I have Alexander? The question. First of all, let's see. Do I have Alexander? Oh, we've got one spot left. Um, Alexander, wasn't Alexander a legendary sword or something? might have it in here. Mary's Bell. Oh, dang, man. <clears throat> oh, I do have Alexander. A powerful sword draped in royal grandeur. Houses intense lightning power. Okay, so that's what we need. <clears throat> Let's also get rid of some of these weapons here. Why do I still have this in my inventory? <clears throat> Lord Hades. Uh, I'll probably never ever use Lilica. Let's get rid of some of her stuff. Same with Zegram's uh, thingamabobs here. Also, I just realized I should be feeding my insectors. I mean, even after you beat the game, there's still so much stuff that you could do. There's still more countless hours if this is all you wanted to play. And that's how you know it's a good game, is because there's so much content still left to do, if you if you wish. Uh, <clears throat> but after 60-something hours, I think we're good. 